For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 uh, new features and um, installation guide the step by step how you can install this RHCL 8. So there are new steps as added into the installation and what are the new features they introduced on this RHCL 8. So let's see that. So what are the features we get over here? So the first feature is that um, Linux kernel got upgraded to 4.18 version. So the next one is that introduction to the status file system and uh, build up and portman and uh, Scopio. There are the applications which are in uh, introduction added on the RCL 8 newly added. So the next one is the cockpit is the default web console tool for server management. So where um, the even whenever you install this cockpit like uh, it can provide you to um, remotely manage some um, features of the Linux configurations from the cockpit web console. So where you can monitor your system like what is the CPU utilization or what is the memory utilization and what is the disk utilization all the stuff and after that uh, whenever you want to configure like the um, manage the uh, VM public VMs like the uh, KVM VMs or the like the containers from the web console you can do that. So that is the cockpit feature which is very exciting on RCL 8. So the now the RPM uh, version is 4.14. So whenever the whenever you install the RPM packages, it does not uh, inspect the package content like in the previous versions. It does not um, uh, open the package and see. Okay, it just installs. But uh, nowadays most of the things like uh, the packages are getting um, something vulnerable or something like. Um, getting some um, virus injected into the package some virus or something like that so now the rpm is validates so before installing it on the system so it can the content will be validated using the rpm and installed on the system so that's the uh, new feature so which is likely keep your system more secure so the next one is rcl supports up to four beta petabytes of uh, physical memory like whenever you install the physical server so the single server can support up to the four petabytes of ram so that's very huge um, so that's the um, name new feature and now the the default by default in rcl7 xorg is the display um, the, the display server so which is replaced with uh, wayland in rcl8 so that's the new feature the wayland will uh, manage the your uh, gui display or uh, the display server um, that's the new feature and the python version by default it ships with the 3.6 is the default so whenever you install rc lite the python will be installed with the 3.6 version and uh, php got uh, the version um, uh, change is uh, the php 7.2 comes with rcl8 and uh, uh, most of the times in the previous versions there is no nginx by default in the packages but now so um, nginx is the core package on uh, rcl8 so that you can get apache and nginx both on the uh, package installation media itself so ip tables most of them in the which ip tables are coming from rcl5 rcl6 and uh, rcl7 as well so but net filters now they have changed this ip tables is replaced with nf tables the uh, kernel level net filters which is changed with the nf tables so but most of the interface on the uh, command line interface or the features look from the uh, firewall cmd commands looks to be similar but in the back end they have changed this ip tables to nf tables so open ssl uh, support so 1.1.1 open ssl will be supported and tls 1.3 will be supported for the rcl 8 so there is a new feature called application streams these application streams uh, will be more flexible whenever you are creating like development environments or any new production environments 
so you no need to depend on a single particular version so you can stream multiple applications uh, like the 1.1 or 1.2 so whenever you are upgrade that application numbers from 1.1 to 1.2 so some of the features or the some of the application may not work properly so this application streams can support multiple version numbers on the same same system so that's the new feature few new features there are so many uh, new features on rcl8 if you want to do uh, clearly know that rcl8 uh, new features go to the redhat.com and see that uh, like share comment and subscribe new features okay so now so how you can download this rhl8 so but whenever you want to download this rhl8 you have to have at least in one subscription active subscription for your uh, any active subscription you have to have to download this uh, rhl8 so uh, or you can also register using your email address and download it so developers.redart.com slash rhl8 is the uh, url where you can go and uh, download this uh, rcl8 for uh, and install it on your machine so after in downloading this iso so uh, first screen boot from uh, rcl8 dvd so this is the installation step so which is not changed uh, particularly if you compare with rcl7 so which is the similar just only the numbers got changed over here the next one select the system and uh, keyboard language so where you can select this uh, system language and keyboard language over here and the next screen so this next screen there is there are some new features added over here which is called system purpose so that feature only the new in rcl8 the remaining features will be similar but uh, the package selection will be different so the next one i am going to show you that uh, the time selection uh, which is almost similar to the rcl7 so where you can go to the um, click on that uh, time zone selection and where you want to select your local time zone date and time settings and uh, click done so that's it the next one is that uh, software selection so whenever you go to software selection this portion got changed little bit so here you have a server with gui and workstation option and server option so whatever the package you want to install you can install it example say that you want to do a workstation and server differently like uh, in a um, practice you wanted to do one server and one workstation so that you can install one server with um, maybe with gui not with gui and uh, one is minimal installation and another is on a workstation installation so this is the software selections got little bit changed on the rcl8 so the next one is installation destination so here you can do your custom partitions on uh, hard disk so you can select the custom or automatic so anything uh, can be possible and click on done then um, you can do this partition so okay these partitions may be uh, based on lvm or lvm thin provisioned or maybe a standard partitions anything you can do so as of now i do a lvm partition so one is in a slash with 26 gb and another is in a slash boot with uh, 1 gb and swap is 3 gb so because my um, ram uh, has like uh, 4 gb in it so that would be okay and and uh, system purpose so this is the new screen on the rcl8 where you can uh, uh, define like whether you have your um, system subscription already so if you already have the subscription uh, directly you can subscribe from here itself uh, like um, whenever you have a service level agreement with the premium you can just select the premium and provide the username and password then it will directly subscribe the premium version and uh, standard version or if you have self support examples uh, like you do not have any support like uh, what is the uses of the system like whether it, the system is going to be on production or maybe in a test and development or just like a dr like which sits the ideal for some time whenever dc until the dc is fails like disaster recovery systems so like if you are sure uh, like this system is going to be used for particular purpose you can select this uh, role and um, go ahead so if you do not have any uh, specifications as of now whenever you are installing a particular system you can simply select not specified so that would be fine though but it will 
streamlines your uh, process so here the network configuration so network configuration is similar to the rhcl7 almost um, and here the security policy so whenever you select the um, security policies for the se linux so these are the policies complaints uh, already pre-built uh, comes with the two se linux policies one is on a pca complaint and one, or one more is on a ospp complaint so wh wh whatever you want to select you can select it or if you want to switch off this security policy you can switch off it or if you want to customize it the change the content you can change the content over here itself on the se linux policies and you can create a new profile so over here okay the next one is the root password selection so whenever next screen comes and they can uh, it will ask you for the root password so here the root password is um, validates the based on the complexity so minimum eight characters one special character and um, one um, any number or special character one caps lock on small letter would be there so that would be in a secure password or the little complex uh, good password so but as of now when i'm installing the system so i did not give that complex uh, just given the small path uh, straightforward password so that's why it says weak so next screen is that you can create the new user screen so here so i just created the username called t-a-r-k-i-t -T. so it makes us in a administrator and record password i just uh, created over here the next one is that it will ask you for the reboot first reboot after the reboot, uh, it will ask you for the license agreement if you install with uh, server with GUI, otherwise it will not ask. So license information, you can just select the agreement and say you can agree for it. So the next one is the subscription manager. So this was in a before was not there. So subscription manager, you can simply use a subscription manager and you can um, change this uh, subscription over here. So that uh, whenever you select this subscription URL and uh, next username and password, so the system will be subscribed by default with the subscription manager. So that would be easy for you to manage your repositories and subscriptions on the um, system after booting up your system. So this is the one step ahead in RCL um, 8 they have given. So the next one is the user uh, login screen. So here it does not change much. So this is the first look on RCL 8 after the installation. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses. If you have any questions related to this video, comment on the comment box. And if, if you want to um, mail me any questions, you can free to mail. Uh, I will provide you the mail address on the uh, description. Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.